Hey everybody, this is Jared with Main Sequence Software, and this is a quick demo of the framing and mosaic feature found in the 2.2 release. You can find the framing and mosaic wizard from the tools menu, and just select the framing and mosaic wizard. From there, a uh, small dialog will pop up. You can enter object names here, you can enter links to Flickr or Astrobin, and it'll scrape the data and actually pull out uh, the images that you're looking for. Uh, in our case, I'm just going to do uh, the Lagoon Nebula for my target. And I'm going to leave the field of view at 4, and I'm just going to fetch that object. Takes a couple of seconds usually. And it'll take longer depending on your field of view. So the narrower the field of view you use, the faster it's going to be. So. There's the Lagoon Nebula there. We can see the Triffid Nebula hanging out there as well. Um, so now that we've fetched the object, let's go ahead and move on to step two. This is just defining some camera information. If you already have this saved uh, with the camera data and the camera control panel, then you're good to go. Uh, this is just a blank run for me, so I'm going to go ahead and enter the information for my Quai 9. And what this will allow me to do is now that it knows the scale and it knows how many pixels, it knows uh, my effective field of view for the camera. So what I'd like to do is I actually want to get both of these framed together. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate it a little bit. And I think I can probably squeeze both those guys in the single frame. Or in, excuse me, in, in two frames. So that's that's good. I'm going to to go ahead and just uh, right click and uh, center here and what that's going to do is it's going to update the RA and deck of the image and it's also going to fetch a new a new image located centered around that RA and deck so this will just take another second for it to fetch that and as far as the uh, the object up here you can use uh, you know proper names like Lagoon Nebula you can use M42 if you know the exact RA and deck that you want to use, you can use that here as well. And you don't actually just have to use this for mosaics. If I wanted to do just the lagoon, I could use this for framing and I could generate a sequence off of that. But I'm going to go ahead and set up just a small little mosaic, a little two panel here. So there's panel one and panel two. It arranges the panels uh, by what is setting or what will cross zenith first. Uh, essentially what is westmost. So in our case, that is the Triffid and then the Lagoon. You can also adjust your overlap here. Uh, it actually defaults to 20. I had already scaled it down to 10. Um, that seems to be, I, mean, I think 10 will work out okay. Uh, since we're going to be using plate solving, it's generally pretty accurate. I wouldn't go much less than 10 unless you're just feeling, uh, I don't know, unless you feel like taking a risk. So. I'm going to go ahead and create a sequence. I like the framing. I like that I've got both objects in here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and create a sequence, and it's going to create that sequence with uh, both of these targets. And I'm going to just replace the targets in my existing sequence. And I'll also have uh, the auto-rotate and validate whenever the mosaic starts. Uh, what this does is if you use a uh, rotator, or if you use the manual rotator, it'll automatically prompt you to move to that position and it'll give you some hints and it'll use the plate solving to verify your rotation. So I've got the targets created. Now let's go ahead and go through and I'm just going to take Lagoon 1 and I'm going to just set up a very basic um, RGB sequence. So red, green, blue, and we'll just say five minutes a piece. And then I'll do the normal two by two binning and then just let's say nine frames nine frames a piece now something else that's nice that you might not have noticed is you can actually click on any target that's created right click on it and go to copy events to and what this is going to do is it's going to duplicate that RGB sequence over to my Lagoon Nebula 2 uh, this is very handy if you have you know more than just a two panel mosaic if you have a nine panel 20 panel mosaic, you can duplicate all of your uh, frame events at the same time. So now Lagoon 1 has RGB and Lagoon 2 also has an RGB. So that was a very quick tutorial 
over the uh, Framing and Mosaic Wizard. Uh, hope that helps you guys out. Thanks, and be sure and visit our website, uh, mainsequencesoftware.com. Thank you.